Alrighty, folks, what is going on? Uh, sorry for not uploading yesterday. I was supposed to do like a little band lift video, but the more and more and more and more, Jesus Christ, uh, the more and more and more that I looked at the band list, I was like, this band list really wasn't nothing. Um, so you, you guys, you, you guys may see a band list video um, from yesterday. Sorry that we got off to such a rocky start, but we're, we're going to be all right. All right. So um, going up against 60 cards. A lot of people think this deck is dead, but you got to realize, folks, like grass was just like a power card. So they're not really technically losing anything. This is just ridiculous, but like they're not really losing anything. And um, as you can see, I am playing goes and match because um, I started thinking of cards to go first and second. Goes and matches great going first. Goes and matches great going second because if your opponent tries to Troymere lock you out of the game, you just flip this up during their draw phase um, or standby phase whenever you feel like it. And if you have an executor on board, they can't get rid of it. And then, yeah, that's that. He got rid of one designator of grave. That is completely fine. Um, we're just in a, a shithole right now. We're in a very big shithole. Now, I'm wondering if he's playing grass. But, yeah, a lot of people think, oh, shit, that was terrible. Oh, that that was had to be the worst mill of all time. Solitaire. Um, that is not what I needed to see, but it, it's it's going to be OK. We're going to set this. We're going to set this. Um, and yeah, we are playing. Um, we are playing Goblin Zombie because, oh, my Lord, is that card just so freaking amazing. It's really ridiculous. All right. So um, he's going to mill three. Oh, wow. He hit a damn dot scaper. Isn't that cute? Well, this is fine. This is completely fine because um, what he can technically... Oh, he's still playing what's the name. All right, so um, there's three lights. I wonder if he's going to go Curios. Did he... He did not mill a what's the name, did he? Um, all right, so there's there's that. This is going to give me my uh, solids here. So now we're able to get back into the game. But yeah, um, what was I saying? I forgot. I was talking about... Oh, yeah, 60 card. They're not really dead. They literally just took out three left arms and and, and what's the name? And uh, what do you call it? Uh, three left. Uh, they basically took out three left arms, and um, three left arms and uh, uh, yellow snow. Oh, he didn't know the snow. Oh, now there's a preparation of rights. That's actually pretty good. Um, that's completely fine. Um, here, can we get back in the game, folks? I think we may. Can we kill him? That's the whole thing. I don't know about killing them, but we can damn sure do a lot of damage. We can damn sure do a lot of damage. That's what we definitely can do. Um, hmm. We may be able to kill them. Maybe. Not too sure, but we're going to find out right now. We're going to summon that. As long as he doesn't hit Origin or the prep, we should be completely 1000% fine. Uh, let's see what he does. Ash Blossom, that's completely fine. He knows I have one in my hand. So we're gonna banish, we're gonna banish the other one out of his graveyard. Just to make him upset. Just to upset him even more. Um just to upset him even more. <laughs> we're gonna banish the other one out of the graveyard. Then we're gonna do that. And then uh let's see if he does do it. He doesn't. So let's set this because oh, he's gonna let us do our thing. Um hmm. Now we can just use the card from our hand, technically. Let's do it. Let's just bait it out because he's going to have to use his uh, Omega now. He's not going to do anything. Got it. Understood. All right. So what do we have in here? Do we play Scarlight? We don't play Scarlight because we're not we're not good people. We don't play good Yu-Gi-Oh, folks. That is that is our problem. But we can definitely just out his board right quick. So we can do this. Um, I actually have to target the Goblin Zombie here. No, I don't. Do I? Um, hmm. Can target Solitaire. Yeah, let's target Solitaire. I don't know why he left my Omega. I mean, I don't know why he left me with an Omega. And so with this, I could send... Um, I could send Spirit Master. Right? Can I send Spirit Master? Um, and then what we can do is go, I don't want to go Vampire Sucker because he's going to kill me. So we just go this, bam, activate that young effect, banish the Spirit Master, 
he's going to be able to pop us an Omega because that's cool. And then what we can do is we can activate these preparation of rights, add us a battle Lord because we're cool like that. And we can just pretty much set the tone of the game right now. Summon this battle Lord. We can ban a solitaire and a Unizombie. Special this. That triggers. Giving us back a Spirit Master. And as you can see, we can clear his whole board. And this is why I love Battle Lord. Because Battle Lord going second is just fantastic. We're going to call monsters. And then we're going to be able to pretty much out his whole entire board. Um, actually, we can't out the Dotscaper. But we can damn show out uh, everything else. So let's just attack over this. We can't use no monsters, so we're not afraid of anything. And we also have a called by the grave to stop anything else that's going on here. And to be honest with y'all, if I really felt like it, I can go vampire sucker to draw a free card. And then I'll be able to go into a Tremere Griffin and I'll be able to... Or I can go into a what's the name and put it back to his deck and then goes and match will be set and then we'll be straight. But I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the best option here. Um, I think actually we can end on this. We can end on this because I feel like this is is pretty cool. So what we can do is activate always chain. Um, but yeah, man, the ban list. Uh, I got a little distracted by trying to win here, but the ban list that it really was just i mean i it just really wasn't you know i mean if it, basically that that's a real adjustment list that's what i would say that was he's going to be upset watch this folks he's going to target solitaire now the smart play is to target his solitaire but we're going to chain this and we're going to get rid of his other mizuki right so now he got <laughs> both mizukis are dead <laughs> And he can't use Mizuki for two, another turn. So <laughs> we're just in the game here, folks. But what was I saying? Uh, yeah, man, the ban list, that was a real adjustment list. Like when they, when they talk about actual adjustment lists, that is what they were talking about. And we win. Um, yeah, uh, let me see. How, many, how much time was that? That was only seven minutes. Um, we're going to get another duel. Be right back. All right. So instead of just releasing a video... Um, yesterday like a little four or five minute video I'm just gonna just uh, I guess do this and this hand right here is a little crazy because technically the normal summon goes Zuki but that's about it um, yeah let's just start with that let's just do that but yeah man the band list that, that's the actual adjustment list like when Konami says oh they have a you know they, they're making an adjustment Ooh, actually I can go, I can go Hound Horde, Ditch Anima. Oh yeah, that's, that's completely what I'm supposed to do right here. That's completely what I'm supposed to do here. Now, the only problem with Gozen Match in this situation is that, uh, technically, we're not going to be able to do too much. Um, bam, and then with that, we're going to banish our one Anima because I cut it down. But it's going to be okay because we're still going to, uh, we're still going to get things going here. And as you can see, we did uh, start off pretty decent. Uh, and we can just go ahead and send that. And then we can go bam. And goes and match really is just a fail safe for just, just in case we don't, you know, have anything to go into. We can draw a free card here. Ooh, there is a Hound Horde. I mean, Avenger at Core. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's really just a fail safe just in case uh, he gets over our board, puts anything uh, too good on the board. Um, we can definitely just cancel everything he got going on. But I don't know. Goes and match. There's a lot of decks that um that are all one uh one effect. Pretty, I mean one one attribute and one type. So it may not be as effective, but a lot of people are playing Rivalry or Warlord, so we can go from there. But anyways, back to the ban list. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, so let's see. If we're playing War Chalice, he's he's just done for. Um, but uh, let's see what he's playing here. Uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, the band list. The band list. Um, yeah, that's a real adjustment list. That when they when they were talking about oh no, we lost. Um, but when they were talking about adjustment list, this is what they were referring to, because it's like, wait, hold on, time out. That guy is a dark. Chaos Giant is a dark. Oh, watch this, folks. Watch this. Um, they don't pop back rows, so I'm I'm fine. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. 
I don't want to call water. <laughs> I really don't. But I think I have to. I have to call water just to pretty much keep whatever I got going on here. Um, but basically, he's not. He's going to be able to go Howard, sir, but he won't be able to go into the chaos drain, which he's probably going to try to go into. But what was I saying? Um, yeah. Um, oh, never mind. He's just going straight into a reactor dragon. And um, I, th I think he may go for it. He may go for it, folks. If he brings out that level three guy or whatever. I th he, what? That only specimens from hand? Ew. Okay, never mind. He's not going for it. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, the bandits. My bad. My bad. My bad, folks. My bad. Uh, yeah, man. That's this real, a real, real adjustment list. Um, that's that's basically what they did was adjust the game, take out the cards that are just terrible, which is you know, i.e. fucking all the FTKs are just bad for the game. All this shit is just bad. Like it just doesn't serve a purpose. It doesn't help anything. It doesn't make anybody want to play the game more. It just makes people want to quit because like, oh okay. That's fine. And now what you wonder, oh why you didn't change oh it's because he didn't use the fusion effect. So yeah, he was going he was going for it, but it's okay. We're, he's going for it, but we have to call water. We have to call water. He's gonna get rid of it regardless. Now he has to fuse it into our earth, which is completely fine with me. Or if if the rulings are correct on here, um since he has a valid target, he can literally send off these three and an extra one to go into the chaos giant because he does have a valid earth target in his deck. So um, I'm not sure how official that ruling is, but I know back with the GBs, you were able to do that because uh, if you had another, like this slave, you tag out Lakari, which is a five, he was able to go into a, a, a different card because he has another fire in his deck. Like if he had another fire gladiator beast, he was able to do that. But it don't look like we were able to do anything here, but we, we can out his board. Oh wait, no, he's gonna kill it, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're definitely gonna out his board now. Um, he probably didn't want to do that. Yeah. Is this mandatory? Oh no, it wasn't mandatory. He literally did not have to do that. I hope I'm not dead. Okay, there we go. We can clear his board here. Ooh, now that was that was a spicy fucking top deck. That was ridiculous. Um hmm. We do play Black Rose, but I don't know if I want to Black Rose him right now. Hmm. To be honest with you. What does this do? If this dies, you can special him an ancient golem from his extra deck. So we know, we know what we should probably do. Hmm. What we should do is spin that shit back to the deck with what's the name? With Unicorn. And then attack over everything. And I think that's what we're gonna do here. Because what we can do is go go Zuki into a Gozuki. And this is why Vampire Sucker is just fan fucking tastic. Because right now we can just send a monster, right? Bam. And then what we can do here is just go straight into a vampire sucker. Bam. We're not able to draw a card, but you know, we, we can still do a lot of things. And then we're going to utilize the spirit master because spirit master is going to get us where we need to be. Um, so right here, what we're going to do is do this tribute that off special summon us a uni. And then what we can do with this is that we can just get a free draw. I think we can get a free draw for no apparent reason. Um, hmm, we can go Strigus. Yeah, we can just go Strigus just to use the effect of Strigus. Just to use the effect of Strigus, just a special summon. Um, I once again, for, I, I, I just forgot about the. We'll just talk about it after the game. Pre prep, damn it, that was not a pre prep. All right, so now what we can do is uh, actually what we can. Hmm. No, I can't do that. That won't work. Uh, we can go Tremor Unicorn with these two. Actually, yeah, we, we could definitely we could definitely out his whole entire board. We ain't gonna be able to game shot him, but we'll definitely be able to out his whole entire fucking board. Um, ditch this. We're gonna spin that right back to the deck. Um, oh, if this leaves the field, is that that's because I'm special in can head, all right? That's why, folks. I'm special. Whoa! Now that's now that's completely fine because we're able to go core, you banish the spirit master for free, bring that back. Now he's able to pop this and what? If you target ancient go golem in your graveyard, spell summon it. I believe you don't have one, so that's not going to trigger. But that's okay because now we're able to go Cerberus, which you can go into these two, activate this. We can activate Solitaire and a Cerberus, and we're going to make Cerberus Chainlink one, Solitaire Chainlink two. We're going to discard this to pop this. 
Solitaire is going to get us back this. We're just going to be in a fantastic fucking position today, folks. We're going to be in a fantastic fucking position. Draw a freaking card. Oh, Avenger at charge. Now that may get us to where we need to be. Um, see, now what I can do is go sh uh, Shogun Saga. But if I go Shogun Saga, I'm not able to do what I want to do. Hmm. So I think I should attack with 32. I think I should attack with 32. Do I have a card I can set in the Oh, I can set a Gozen match. That's pretty fucking amazing to me. Um, yeah, let's attack with this. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, he has an Ancient Gearbox, right? I believe he does. Well, let's see. Let's see if he's able to fucking kill me. It's okay, because then what we can do here is go into our Omega. Using these two, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we can just get a card out of his hand. Let's see what we get. Oh, we get the Ancient Gear Frame, which is cool for me. Then we're able to go Troy Mary Goblin. We could have went Troy Mary Griffin. But I think Goblin is better because now he won't be able to set. We need to set the Gozen match. So just in case shit gets a little crazy, we can just flip that fucking Gozen match. And be on our way. Oh, there's a Vendred Revenants. But uh, I don't think there's um, too many things for us to do here. Um... Oh, man, I want to play Troy Mare Ibley so much, so bad. I really do. I really do. I, I probably should be playing in this deck. But, yeah. Um, I, I lost my whole train of thought with the bandless thing. But, you know. Oh, okay. That's fine. Do you? Oh, you have that fucking one card. Oh, god damn it. He has Catapult in his hand. Okay, they're all Earth. So, I, I can't do anything about this regardless. So, this, as long as he doesn't go Chaos Giant, we are fucking straight, folks. We are straight as an arrow. That's what the hell we are. As long as he can't go on what's the name, that's completely fine with us because that is what's going to kill us, not what's the name. I probably should have shuffled one of these motherfuckers back. That's what I definitely should have did was shuffle this thing back. He wouldn't have drew into Gear Town or the Catapult. Whichever one he drew for turn, he wouldn't have drew into it. Okay. So with this, he still hasn't conducted his normal one. That's the sad fucking part, but he can't activate the effect, so that's cool. Um... But, you know, we're, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there, folks. He's going to be able to kill. He's able to kill my board, but that's fine because we can counteract. We can actually kill his board, I think. I'm not. No, I don't think we can kill his board. We can't kill his board. We're going to need some top decks here, folks. We're going to need some top decks. A so pre-prep. Uh, Griffin, my man. Griffin. 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 Um, yeah, so that was a mistake by him, but that's okay. That's understandable folks I'm sorry if that sounded a little weird because the mic was moving, but um, yeah, that's understandable Sometimes people make mistakes. Hey, that's what happens. That's just what happens and you know There's not really too much you can do about that um, You know, that's, that's not my fault. He didn't read Griffin It's not you know Our Griffin would have been a lot better if it says your point, you know, special summon monster and that link can't attack but he's able to out my board, but we're able to out his board, so that's cool. Um, we just can't activate spells and traps. All right, so we just come on, man. Just give me the pre prep. Give me the pre prep. I've been waiting all day. I've been waiting all day. That's not a pre prep, but it's okay. It's 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 fine. We're able to still we're able to still get somewhere, folks. We're able to still get somewhere. All right. So what we can just do is attack over this. Just attack over this for free. Um, we're gonna set revenants because we don't want to die. Does this pierce? It fucking does pierce. So there's there's a scary situation with that. Um, that's twenty eight hundred. That's twenty eight hundred. I'm gonna have to fucking take. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Well, I guess wyvern is. I guess oh, I did not want to. I wanted to set that. You guys knew what I was trying to go for here. But I believe we have one bazooki left in the deck. Do we not have one bazooki left in the deck? I believe we do. You have one more bazooki left in the deck. So we're going to definitely return that. And we're going to do a good play here, folks. We're not going to activate Omega. That's what we're not going to do. Not going to activate it. Not going to do it. Not going to do it because he is not going to bully us into activating our Omegas when we should have already activated the one to put this shit back. Ancient gear frame. What do you do? Discard and add an ancient gear. That's fine. 
That's completely fine, folks. Okay, now we have to use our Omega. Now we have to use <laughs> We have to use our Omega. Um, yeah, we have to use it now. What does this do? Um, this face up, express summon up to three from your hand. Okay, so if we use Omega, we take 28 maximum. Unless this does something different. Nothing doubles the attack. He's not able to... I don't, he may be able to kill me. I'm not sure. Because this, this one only gives you a token if you destroy something. I don't know how good that is. Nothing does this. No, nothing. So it's probably going to attack with this. You should attack with this. Thank you. All right. So we're going to minimize the damn damage uh, by a little bit. We're going to just summon that in attack mode. So he's not able to kill me. He has special from his hand for that to work. And now we have game, folks. We have. Oh, and there's a pre prep. There's right on time. Right on time is the fucking pre prep. That's what I'm talking about, folks. There we go. That's all we needed to see. Game's fucking completely over. We don't even need to fucking use our Mizuki. Let's just get this situation handled. Let's go. That's what I've been. I've been waiting on this motherfucker, man. So goddamn long. I've been waiting on this motherfucker so goddamn long. Been some of the Slayer. Get that. Get that. Get out of my face. It's all we needed, man. It's all we needed. It's all we needed, man. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. That's. Oh wait, why can't I target this? Wasn't special summoned. Wasn't special summoned. Isn't that some fucking shit right there? That's uh what? 12 and 24? That's only 36. I was about to lose. But we're fine, folks. We can just attack with this. And we can use Slayer's effect. Just to get us that little extra oomph push. Now this was no reason. There was no reason for this, folks. I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now. No reason for that. No entire reason for that. You know, we could easily just push game without summoning to go Zugi, but we got there, folks. We have got there. Ooh, that was a good game. That was a pretty good game. And we could have lost, and we possibly should have lost if he realized what Griffin does. But hey, those are mistakes that happen, folks. Anyways, wasn't able to really get my whole thoughts about the ban list. So we're going to definitely be talking about it at the start of the next duel. And I promise you i am definitely going to do it this time thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy it um click that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you guys want to donate to the channel links are in the description down below besides that that is it i will see you guys in a couple of hours so be back man get ready man we're gonna go back in with this next see what we can accomplish